need to know what the Loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I have tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the Civil War and be rid of the Crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did. Until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Connor, little help here. Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. Move. 
Wait, wait. I I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make we me We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. We should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the Loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Connor. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft that by calling me son I might change my mind? How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command! A warning to you both! Choose to follow me, or oppose me, and I will kill you.
I should make sure the village is safe. Radun hagedun. Za shewe next ji ohnu jera. Wak kanu dunyo hue doga ti ga oya lungwe aye zene sege. Unka giga oya lungwe. De ohne guje Charles Lee. Luwa na tu kwa ya sagoya tanhawe kanu dogu dano doh karap ni hadi. Na hoda ka nuwe ni hone nu. Wak de sagodi dashtana zini hadi ayun kiyun hunda. Ya, ya te tkari hua yeri. Ona jera di deza ni gun hare. Ya kon ta deza du hundoni ne giga ne aya go derio. Ona ti as chaga ne te dom zong da ke das te. Kana kana dogo. Ve dun ha gedum. Ve gwa se tane ka. Na hoda. Gwe gwa ha klori ne Charles Lee. Ba triot de hona do hon zoni ayun ki at wanto. Da no gan ize an se ye na wat is it. A toga ti ga rungwe. Wa han ru zi de zat ni gwa ha denyo. Zi an sa de ni an da do squat ni gwa ha gani. Nek zi ona gan rune de. Zi un gwa nho garum de. Te gat nyo ska a gi gwa. Gwa nek di un gwa nyo ska an zi wat gwa nyo ha zene a squa yat da no stats ege. Da yu zat ni gwa ha di hanto. Da no wat de zi wat dak sa te ne zun gwe da sum ha. Sa da rissa. An ga da rissa an on an za he yu. Yao Tena, that is a dance. Zika do hit stane. Radun hagedum. 
Charles Lee, Mountmouth, was that the hundred? I saw one out to Marse, then a whole number three hot, run at the new uni. Jerome Saga, I saw one out there. Oh, doctor, he came out there, Dio. Run out Dio, how hot the queen you. Unge nungwe da summa. Oh, Dio, the num start unge. Iwe re ya na wandu thayngwe ya da nu start unge. Ona wasa dressa yung jadaro.